Hey guys, what's up? This is Abhishek Gupta and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the different generations of these processors that is from first generation to sixth generation. And I can give you 100% sure that after watching this video, your all the confusions and doubt will be clear. And the next time you can easily choose your processor according to your requirement. So guys, keep watching. The last time when I went to a computer shop to buy a laptop, the seller had told me that this laptop is having 4th generation of Intel processor. I asked him what the difference between 1st generation and the 4th generation of processors. But he cannot give me the proper answer and just saying that the 4th generation processor is faster as compared to 1st generation. Is this the only difference between 1st generation and 4th generation? Let's find out. Many times you have heard that 1st generation processors are 42 nm, 2nd generation processors is 32 nm and blah blah blah. But what does this nm exactly mean? NM stands for nanometer. It is the size of a transistor in a processor. The more smaller transistor, the many transistor can be fixed in a processor. In simple language, the smallest transistor which is measured in NM in a processor will give you better performance. Therefore, you always go with the latest generation of processor. With this, Intel also improves its graphics quality in each generation of processors. As for example, in 6th generation processor, you are able to play almost all the new PC games at medium settings. So if you are looking for a PC for playing games in medium settings or low settings, always go with the latest generation of Intel processors. The first generation processor codename is Nehalem and it is 42 nm processors and it is having Intel HD graphics chip on it. Same the second generation processors codename is Sandy Bridge and it's a 32 nm processors and it is having intel hd 3000 graphics chip the third generation processor also called ev bridge and it is a 22 nm processor and it is coming with intel hd 4000 graphics chip the fourth generation processor is also called as haswell and it is also a 22 nm processor but here you can see it's having a graphics chip difference so it is coming with intel hd 4600 graphics chip the fifth generation processor also known as broadwell processor and it is a 14 nm processor and it is having intel iris pro 6200 graphics chip on it the sixth generation processor also called sky lake processor and it is a 14 nm processor and it is having intel hd graphics 530 gpu chip on it 7th generation processor is the latest generation processor nowadays and its code name is KB Lake and it is a 14 nm processor which is coming with Intel HD graphics 620 and using this graphics chip you can easily play all the latest games but you cannot play in high settings but you can easily play on medium and low settings. So guys if you like this video give us a thumbs up and click here to subscribe to my channel for more updates. See you soon in my next video till then take care and Bye-bye.